Hi, this is Marshall Jefferson, and you're listening to DJ International Radio. DJinternational.eu and DJinternationaleu.com. One world, one music, twice the power. DJ International Radio EU. Divas on the deck with DJ Bell and guest mixers including Terry Bristol. Hi, this is Kenny Jim Jason. I'm uh, a member of the Hopix 5 and from V103 Chicago. Um, I really uh, would like to uh, hopefully send my respects out to Frankie Knuckles. Frankie was a great guy. Um, every interaction that I've ever had with Frankie has always been good. Um, I've had him on our Rick show a couple times, featured on the radio station. Um, he will be missed. He was a contributor to the birth of house music here in Chicago. Um, and uh, uh, just a, a gentleman all around. Uh, it's, it's sad to see uh, somebody so young uh, leave us. But uh, I'm sure he's uh, gonna uh, be taking care of that uh, house music this good in the sky. So uh, good luck and, and God bless us. Hi, this is Marshall Jefferson. Rest in peace, Frankie and Larry Levin and Rob Hardy are gonna have a serious competition for the dance floor upstairs. Peace, fly low, and beat the radar. Now, one of the pioneers of house music, Frankie Knuckles, has died at the age of 59. Born in the Bronx, Knuckles moved to Chicago in the late 70s, just as disco was dying out. He made his name as a DJ, remixing tracks and developing a new style of electronic dance music. He worked with artists from Michael Jackson to Whitney Houston and Depeche Mode. Let's hear a little bit of his work. The next guy's a bit of a musical genius. His record's been bubbling in the clubs for a long time, and now it's a chart entry. The whistle song, Frankie Knuckles. Well, the DJ and broadcaster Dave Pierce knew Frankie Knuckles for 30 years or more and joins us from our studio in Brighton. Thank you very much. Um, tell us something about the legacy of the man in your eyes. Well, he's got a tremendous legacy. Actually, before I start, I just wanted to send my deepest sympathy to uh, Frankie's family and friends and his colleagues uh, in New York City, including Dave Morales, uh, who made many great records with him. His legacy is huge. I mean, he's been labelled as the godfather of house music, uh, that was a term that was banded around by the music press and in many ways it's true there's not many people you can think of in your life that help create a new style of music but that's exactly what Frankie did as you said when he started out in those uh, discos in the 70s when disco died he didn't have any records to play in his club so he set about creating his own music and that was essentially by re-editing old soul records and creating his own sound um, and he used to do that on reel to reel tapes and play it in the clubs. So he created his own sound. He listened to a lot of music coming out of Europe, people like Kraftwerk, merged the two, and house music was born. And house music, as you know, is still going strong 30 years later. But without him and people like him, uh, the world would have been a very different place. So you knew him well, you worked with him. What kind of a man was he? You, you, he didn't let celebrity go to his head from the sound of it. No, he was a, a, a wonderful man, actually, uh, Frank. He was incredibly warm. He was someone with a massive smile. He loved hugging you. Uh, I always remember that. And it, it, it's devastating to think that, you know, I won't see him again. But uh, I think the warmth that he exuded came across in his DJ sets. He was a people's DJ. When he DJed in clubs, he wanted the DJ booth right down so he could shake the hands of the clubbers around him and really feel the room. And uh, I actually went and watched him work many times in New York at a club called the Sound Factory Bar. And the love that he got and the connection from his audience was absolutely incredible. But I think a lot of that came from his deep soul roots. You know, he loved gospel music. He loved the strings of Philadelphia International. And he kind of, you know, wove all that together in his music, which, I, which is why I think it resonated so well. But importantly in the UK and specifically here in the United Kingdom, he helped drive the rave movement as well because uh, Your Love, which was a record you played earlier in your package, 
uh, was one of the big records in the early days of warehouse parties, acid house and rave. So he helped kickstart a new revolution in music in the UK. It was really the biggest uh, change in popular music since punk, except dance music still going 30 years later. Well, that's a very big legacy. And Dave Pierce, remind us of some of the artists that he worked with, some of the many. Well, he worked with a colossal range of artists because one of Frankie's great skills, as well as being a DJ and producing his own records, was as a, a remixer. So he was asked to work with artists like Whitney Houston, Depeche Mode, the Pet Shop Boys. But what he was most proud of, when uh, he told me anyway, uh, he was absolutely delighted to be asked to work with Michael Jackson and uh, rock with you. I remember him telling me once about, uh, you know, getting the call and how excited he was. And I think that, that he would have put that down as one of his proudest moments. And... Um, also, I think being recognised with a Grammy Award was tremendously important. Um, he was actually awarded a Grammy, not for one specific track, but his work ac you know, across different artists, which was the first time that that had happened. And I think for him to finally be appreciated back in America, we all loved him in the UK, but he wasn't that well known in America to start with. It was actually around the world, Europe and the UK particularly. So, um, Although just very, very briefly, Dave, he did have fans in the current White House, didn't he? Well, it's interesting, yes. I, I, you know, when I last spoke to him, he was telling me how about uh, people in the Obama administration loved his music and just recently had a street named after him in Chicago. So I think it's fair to say that Obama has probably heard a Frankie Knuckles record at some time, and I know, I know that that tickled him. But my memories today are just a, a wonderful, warm man and, and some fantastic music. So it's a, it's a very, very sad day for dance music. Well, Dave Pierce, we really appreciate you coming to speak to us on World News today about the memories of the man and his music and the influence that he continues to have uh, on music today. And that's uh, talking about uh, Frankie Knuckles, who uh, died uh, today, age of 59, and his legacy as the godfather of music. Now, you can talk to, to us about any of our stories today uh, on social media, on the BBC World's Facebook page. I'm on Twitter, at Philippa News. Uh, and we'll keep you up to date as well there with all our headlines and all our developing stories. But for now, from me, Philippa Thomas, and the rest of the team, thanks very much for being with us.